So for a couple of days now, I've been testing out the Nufi Air 75 V2 mechanical keyboard. Nufi did reach out to me to send out an Air 75 V2, but I'm not getting paid to make this video and everything I'm gonna be sharing with you are my honest opinions on it. For a couple of months now, my daily driver has been a custom built split wireless mechanical keyboard called a Korn. I really love using keyboards like this because of the improved ergonomics. I enjoy tinkering and making things myself and I really like being able to program these keyboards boards to do exactly what I need them to. But the reality is sometimes you just want something that is easy to get started with, that's pre-built, has some nice features, and you don't have to spend a couple of months practicing to get used to. And after trying this keyboard for a couple of days now, I think it's a pretty good option for that. Especially because this new keyboard has QMK via compatibility, which essentially gives you the ability to program it however you like and customize what you want any key in the keyboard to do. I'll be giving you guys a rundown on how to do this with the Air 70 v2 so make sure to stick around for that all right so in the box you get a couple of different things the first thing is the keyboard itself the one i have here is the lunar gray version there's also two other colorways there is ionic white and basalt black I personally really like how the lunar gray looks. Now the top part of the frame is aluminum and the bottom is see-through ABS plastic. I think it's kind of neat that you can see the inside. The color of the internals vary depending on the colorway you choose, which I think is pretty cool. When I first took it out of the box, I was surprised by how sturdy and well-made it felt. Now on the top aluminum part of the frame, you also have two RGB light strips on the sides, which act as indicators. Other than these two side lights, the keyboard also has RGB backlighting with 40 different modes. Now you also get a USB-C to USB-A cable for a wired connection. You can use Bluetooth pairing with up to three devices simultaneously and there's also a 2.4 gigahertz receiver that has a thousand hertz polling rate. On the back there's a switch to go from wired to wireless and you can use the function key with one, two, or three for the three different Bluetooth devices and the function key with four is for the 2.4 gigahertz receiver. In wireless mode if all of the lights are off the keyboard should last up to 220 hours which is around nine days and with all the lights on it should last between 35 to 57 hours which is around one and a half to two and a half days now the keyboard also has a switch on the back for either using it with a mac or a windows machine and in the box you get a set of keycaps for depending on which os you're using these extra keycaps as well as all of the keycaps that are on the keyboard are double shot pbt this is great because the keycaps will last a long time without showing any signs of deteriorating now you also get a sticker set you get a quick setup guide that doubles as a poster, a Q&A booklet. This keyboard is also hot swappable to be able to switch the keycaps or fix them whenever you need to. So you also get a keycap and switch puller. Talking about switches, other than the ones that are already installed on the keyboard, you also get four of the different Nufi switches available so you can try them out. Now the specific keyboard that I have here has the Nufi Linear Daisy switches installed. This is what they sound like. I've been pretty impressed with the overall sound and typing experience. Now the four switches in the box to try out are the Aloe switches, the Cowberry switches, the Moss, and the Wisteria. They also sent out to me a set of Gatoron Reds, but this is separate from what comes with the keyboard. Now this is how the six switches that I have here sound like. I do want to point out that the Calberry switches are the new version of the Daisy switches, so that's what you're going to see available if you want to order the keyboard. Now if you really like the typing experience of the keyboard, another neat feature are the feet that you have on the bottom of the keyboard. They have two different positions and you can use these to place the keyboard on top of your laptop and use it on the go. It honestly fits really nicely on my 14 inch MacBook Pro. This is also something that I do with my custom built Korn keyboard. I place the keyboard on top of the MacBook's keyboard, but I have to use carabiner elements to turn the MacBook keyboard off whenever my Korn keyboard is connected to it. Now what I think is the most important feature of this keyboard is the QMK via compatibility, giving you the power to customize and program the keyboard however you prefer. Now to do this, the first thing you need to do is set the keyboard to wired. Now after you set it to wired, you should use a USB-C cable to connect the keyboard to your computer, and then you'll want to download the Nufi via JSON file, which I'll have linked in the description. Then you'll want to navigate 
navigate to the online configurator, which I'll also have linked in the description. You'll want to click on the settings icon here and then enable show design tab. Then you'll go to the new design tab here and then you'll want to upload the new fee VIA JSON file that I mentioned you should download earlier. You'll want to drag drop it here and then I'm getting this pop up. I'm going to click on new fee air 75 and click connect. Now if I go to the configure tab and click on it, now I'll be able to start remapping the keys to my liking. In the future though it's not ready yet, you might be able to just connect the keyboard and get started with configuring it. Nufi is still working on getting the auto detection to work properly. Now for example one key remapping that I like to do on all of my keyboards is to change the caps lock key to control. So you can place your cursor over the caps lock key and click on it and then down here you'll see a list of different key maps you can change it to. I'm going to click on left control. And then I don't really use the caps lock key, but you could, for example, click on left control and change that to caps lock. Now, the awesome thing about this via configurator is that these changes are applying on the fly and I don't have to do any manual flashing. Now, there's a ton of stuff you could do here. For example, if you're a user of the Colmac or Dvorak keyboard layouts instead of QWERTY, you could reconfigure your keyboard for these layouts. Now, to save the current layout that you have, you can go over here to save plus load and then you can click on the save button to save the current layout and if you want to load an already saved layout then you can click on this load button. I'm going to go back to the key maps here. One of the features that I use a lot when configuring my keyboards is the concept of layers. You'll see here that with this new fee keyboard you'll have access to seven different layers. Out of the box the first two layers so zero and one are your MacBook layouts. So if you use the physical toggle and set it to MacBook then the keyboard Keyboard's base layer will be this zero layer. And then if you change the physical toggle to windows, then the two layers for that are two and three. So if you wanna modify your layout specifically for windows, then you should go to layer two and layer three. And for Mac, you should go to layer zero and layer one. Layer four, for example, you would use with either. Now let's go back to this layer zero and you'll see here that this key right here says M01. On the keyboard, this is the function key. How this specific key works is that if you keep it pressed, as long as it's pressed, then the keyboard's layout will change to layer one. And then in layer one, you have, as you can see here, your function keys, as you would expect. And then you have some other keys like changing Bluetooth connections or to the gigahertz receiver and some other stuff like changing the RGB mode, changing the RGB brightness or changing the RGB hue. Now, let's say, for example, that you wanted to add a numpad to your keyboard. You could then click over here and then do seven it'll automatically move to the right. So then I can do eight and then nine, then go down here and do four, five, six, and down here, one, two, three. Pretty cool, right? Now, because these changes are applied on the fly, they're already available on my keyboard. There's other ways of toggling layers. You can go over here to layers, click on it, and you'll see all of these different options. If it says TG, for example, then it means that if you press that key and then you let go, the keyboard's layout changes to that specific layer, and then you have to press the key again to disable that. For details on all of the different key map options that you have and how they work, I'll have a link to the official QMK documentation in the description. Now let's say that you want to record a macro, which is basically a way to simplify several different keystrokes that you do often into just a single one. To set up a macro, you have to go over here to macros, and then you'll see a list of macros here from zero to 15. You'll click on one of these, and then you'll want to click over here to get the text box, and then you can record your macro here. For example, let's say that I want to create a macro that types out hello, and then I save this. If I go back to key map, then let's say for example, I'm gonna change the home key to this macro. So I click on the home key and then I go over here to macro and I press on M0, which is the macro we just recorded. Then if I open up Raycast, for example, or Spotlight and then press the home key, it'll type out hello. I don't wanna keep that, so I'm gonna click on M0 and change that to home. If I go back to the macros tab and go to M0, and then go over here to record record a new one. You can also use QMK key codes here. Again, I'll have a link for all of the available key codes in the documentation. I can replace this with curly braces. Let's say I wanna create a macro for opening up Raycast or Spotlight, which is command space. Then I can use the question mark to look for a key map. Then I'm gonna type out GUI, which is basically the command key. I'm gonna use left GUI. And then if I add more key maps between curly braces, they'll all be pressed at the same time. So I'm gonna add here 
here, question mark, and look for space. So it's this KC underscore SPC, and then close the curly brace and save it. Now again, I'm gonna go back to key map, click on home, click on macro here, and click on M0. And then if I press the home button, that'll automatically open up Raycast or Spotlight, depending on what you have set up here. Again, I'm gonna change this back to home. Finally, the other thing I want to point out is that if you want to specify a key code combination that isn't available already in these options or any of these tabs, then you can go to special and then at the bottom click on any and then you can type out the key code that you want to use here from QMK. Here on the left hand side, if you click on lighting, you have some key map options for lighting changes and then there's some Nufi specific keys in the custom tab. For example, these keys over here that say size are for the side lights on your keyboard and this dev reset one is important because if you ever want to return your keyboard to how you got it and do a factory reset this is the key you need by default on layer one you'll have that key right here which is the opening bracket key so you have to press FN opening bracket for a factory reset on Windows this would be on layer three which you'll see is the same layout as layer one all right, you guys, so that's it for my rundown on the QMK via configurator. Now, would I recommend you get this keyboard? For me personally, I'm probably not gonna be using this keyboard as much because I'm so used to using my split ergonomic corn keyboard. But for those of you that want something more traditional that is straightforward and easy to get started with, but still provides a great amount of customization when it comes to configuring and mapping your keys however you like, I think this keyboard is a really solid option. For those of you that are interested in purchasing one, Nufi has provided a disc discount code for you guys you can use. You can use the code HOSIAN for a 10% discount on your purchase. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or feedback for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this from me. See you guys in the next one. Peace.